and a hello to you. So today, I want to make a video showing you all exactly what I use to record my family and myself on an almost daily basis. I figure everyone's made a gear video, and now it's my turn. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is what you're seeing right now. This is footage from the iPhone 6s Plus. Now, outside, this camera actually does really, really well. It takes really, really clear, crisp video up to 60 frames per second. You can also do slow motion. You can also do time lapse with this. It really is an amazing piece of technology that we hold right in our hands, and you could have a stunning vlog channel just with this phone, and you wouldn't need anything else. And you could make awesome videos of this. There's actually whole short movies, short films that have been filmed exclusively on this phone, albeit with lens attachments and things like that. They've still just used this phone basically to do entire short films. So that's number one. That's the first thing that I use to record vlogs on. And you'll actually find that if you've been watching my channel, I record about half my vlogs just on this phone now because it's so easy to just whip it out and then pop it back in your pocket and then whip it out and film some more and then pop it back in your pocket. The next most important item in the Vlog and Sins filming bag of tricks is this Canon G7X. I've had this one since about October. I've got tape over some of the buttons because that's the friggin' Wi-Fi button and it just drives you nuts because you constantly hit it. But I've used this since about October. It's been dropped. You can see how battle damaged it is from falling off tables and stuff. We've actually had to have it fixed like once or twice. Margaret and I love this camera. It's got a full one inch sensor. That means it only takes half the light to expose it. Yeah, it's got 20 megapixels, so it takes really, really clear, clear and crisp video and pictures, and it has a lot of really cool features right in the camera. I tend to shoot with this on nostalgic, some form of nostalgic, and it also has that ever-important flip-out screen. I'm going to do it with one hand. There you go. See? It's got a flip-out screen, so you can see exactly what you're doing at all times. This camera right here ran us, what was it, about 750 for this camera? About 750. It's not cheap, but it's worth every single penny. It is our workhorse. So if we want to film something in HD and we want to have no fuss, no muss, we want to film in low light, this is our go-to camera right here. So what's better than one Canon G7X? Two Canon G7Xs, that's right. We got the second one because we dropped the first one and it broke, so we needed to get a second one really quickly because our channel depends very heavily on indoor footage and what we were using at the time as well didn't do good indoor. We needed the G7X because it filmed really well indoors because it only takes half the light to expose it. We also got this Joby stand. My dad picked this up for me for like $3 in a value village. It was in like a bag of stuff. And this is super important. These stands are really great. You can wrap them around things. They got the rubber feet at the bottom. You can get lots and lots of distance, you know, holding on to this. You can get the good head and shoulder shots. So this Canon, is incredibly important because if we ever break the other one, we have this one until the other one gets back out of the shop. So it's a backup camera essentially is what it is. Or if Margaret and I both want to film that day and we want the footage to look exactly the same, she'll use this Canon and I'll use the more beat up Canon and take that out on the road. Another important part of how we film is we have this GoPro Hero 4. As you can see, it's in a cage. We keep it in the cage at all times. We have this handy little handle. It's got a really good rubber grip to make sure that we don't drop it. It's got a wrist strap and we use this whenever we want to do something outside that is more active or whatever, we use this. As you can see, I've attached another microphone to the top because the microphone that comes with it, though it's a good microphone, it still has its limitations. So we attached this double-sided condenser mic right to the top of it to ensure really good sound quality. And as you can see, it's got a lens cover on it because if, I'm not sure if any who, who own a GoPro know that it has a dome lens. I'm not sure if it's really going to pick it up, but inside there, you see how it's kind of domed? If you're holding this or whatever and it goes boom and it falls and it lands on the lens, you're going to scratch the lens. And if you scratch this lens, this camera is pretty much useless. So having a lens protector is paramount. I know that the quality of the picture isn't always that great with the picture with the cover, but you just take it off when you don't want it there. You know, you just pop it off, film with it, and then pop it back on again. But I keep it on there at all times to keep it safe. This right here is super, super important because if when we go camping or we go outside and do things, this is what we use. Now, the last and almost most important piece of our vlogging gear is this Panasonic Lumix FZ1000. Whenever we shoot a sit-down video, this is what we use because it takes stellar video, 20 active megapixels. It follows your face. It also has eye detection, which is amazing. The color is simply amazing. It's got a whole bunch of 
modes you can use to shoot, shooting with modes, and you can make it look like film, different film modes and stuff like that. A lot of people like to use the Canon. I chose not to because everyone is shooting with the Canon when they do digital SLR, and the footage all looks very much the same. So I wanted something different, did my research, and this was something that we were just like, wow, we can't pass it up. It has a fold-out screen, by the way, so that you can see your face. We also bought a Rode microphone on top because Rode simply makes the best microphones that can go on the top of your camera for the price point. And we keep our set to zero. That's what we record on, not plus, not minus. And we just adjust the sound afterwards. Maybe some people do things differently. We just find that this works for us. This behaves really well outside, inside, in high light, in low light. This is an amazing camera and I would highly suggest it to anyone looking for an SLR who wants to get into vlogging. And then we also have this Joby. Doesn't everyone have a Joby? <laughs> this is our other Joby. It's bigger than the last one. And this is super important for us as well. For the same reason as the last time. It helps us get the distance we need, helps us set it up. And you know, without it, I don't think we could get half the shots that we get. So that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative to see exactly what we use to record and share our daily lives with you folks on YouTube. Without this gear, I don't think that sharing our lives would be possible in the same way. Without the Panasonic Lumix FZ1000, the sit down videos, the quality would not be as good. And the cinematic vlogs just wouldn't look as nice either. And without the G7Xs, those go-to workhorse cameras, the footage wouldn't look nearly as good in low light. And then without this here, all those spontaneous shots that I get when I'm out with the kids or whatever that are shot primarily on this phone, they wouldn't exist. So we find that this is the perfect combination of vlogging gear for us. Having the phone, the two G7Xs, and the Panasonic. That's pretty much what we're gonna stick with. I can't really see us upgrading anytime in the future because there's no need to. So anyway, yeah, hopefully you liked it, and we'll see you with the next video. Goodbye.